yo, yo, what's up guys, it's Melatosh here, and I am back for GPC week 5 against the Texas Turtwigs and Josh. I'm super duper excited, I think my webcam is lagging, I think it should be okay. Um, we are 1-4 and four after the biggest choke of my life. I uh, literally think it's the biggest choke I've ever done, period, um, in a, a match. Go to check it out in the description down below. It is crazy. But anyways, we're here. A new day, a new month, a new year, a new, you know, whatever. We're going up against Josh. <clears throat> he is uh, sitting pretty at 3-2, and two, I think. Um, and can you just imagine it if we were freaking... 2 and 3 instead of 3 and 2, it makes such a big difference. We're sitting in relegations, we need to win. We've got uh, Bolt, uh, Bridget, um, Salamence, um, Forge, um, Stella, um, Edward here. And um, if you want to see the team in more detail, hello, Superpower. Let's make you the real deal, shall we? Uh, Superpower, if you want to see the team in more detail, make sure you go check my, uh, my team builder out. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys at the match. Okay, guys, we are at the match, and Josh decided, Josh. Decided to bring Magmortar, Flygon, uh, Starmie, and um, what do you call that thing? Alola Muck, uh, Pinsa, and the Pillow Swine. Um, I think I definitely just want to lead. Oh, hey, man. Um, I think I definitely just want to lead Bolt here. Yeah, I think I want to lead Bolt here. Um, and just go for the switch through turn one. He may want to leave with his pillar swine, but if he does, I think he'll go for the stealth rocks rather than the earthquake. Um, and if not, then bolt goes down. It's not the end of the world. Um, and then I can even maybe try and switch through something else the EV like, um, just to get rid of that thing's item. Maybe like the uh, flag one. Um, sorry, I have to root for Josh here, boy, but hey. <laughs> uh, of course. Of course. Okay. So I need to concentrate. I'm sorry, Flame Dog, but I'm not going to be talking to you no more. He decides to lead with his Magmorta. Um, hmm. I think he's going to go into his Pillar Swine anyway. So I'm going to go for the Switcheroo. I mean, he could be Scarfed with Earthquake. But I think his best play is to go Pillar Swine. He doesn't want this thing taking damage. I think I'm going to go for the Switcheroo. Please don't stay in. Please don't stay in. Go into Pillar Swine. It's an easy switch. You get your rocks up. Everything's good for you. Everything's good for you. Oh, fudgety tutus. So give him the Flame Orb. He get the Assault Vest. He's going to go for the Earthquake. And it's not quite going to knock me out. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and go for the Volt Switch here. Unfortunately, he decided not to go into the Pillar Swine. So that is unfortunate because I really thought he was going to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch here. Um, and just try and get some momentum. If he now goes into the Pillar Swine, that would really, really suck. Um, but I'm quite happy to let uh, my bolt go down, I think. Um, but I'm just going to go for the bolt switch here. <clears throat> I know now that he is not... Um, and he could be Flame Charge Assault Vest. Um, but I know that he's not Scarf. Um, so at least there's information on this thing. Uh, and we know he's slightly bulky. Um, I really, really wish he'd gone into the Pillar Swine there. Maybe I should have Volt Switched. I kind of wanted to, but I just thought that if he went into Pillar Swine there, he got free rocks. Uh, and that's why I went for it. So I'm going to Volt Switch here. It's going to do 39% to this thing. So let's have a little Kalkaroonie. Um, let's have a little Kalkaroonie um, with the Manetric um, custom set here against the... Uh, I really didn't expect him to leave with this thing. Magmortar. Uh, assault Vest Tank. Um, but except you don't have an Assault Vest anymore. I do. Which is nice, actually. It's not too bad. Uh, Volt Switch is 33 to 40%. So you are uh, not really health invested, I don't think. Which is lovely for me. Um, Starmie's here, so I kind of need Stella. Uh, I'm tempted to just go out into Forge, as I don't think there's no need for him to really Earthquake again. Uh, especially when I've got a Ment, so he doesn't really want coming out. Um, so he could go for the Fire move. But this does put me in a kind of a bad spot. Indeed it does. Um, because it would be very nice to keep my Sugar Berry on the Forge. But it's not the end of the world if I lose it. So I'm going to go out into Forge here. Hopefully he doesn't just EQ again. Um, as he does go for the Fire Blast, that's absolutely fantastic for me. <clears throat> because now what I can do, I'm pretty sure Heatran's going to kill this thing. I know I'm not fully physically defensive, but I'm pretty sure Heatran's going to kill this thing, yeah. So I'm going to kill this thing with an Earth Power. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to get my rocks up. Because this thing really does a lot to my team. Um, but I don't see him going Flygon here, so I'm just going to go for the Earth Power. As he stays in, outspeeding me, I am, of course, Sugar Berry, so that's fine. I'm just going to go for the Earth Power and take him out. 
Um, it's definitely unfortunate that he outsped me, not going to lie, um, but it's one of those things I obviously didn't have quite enough speed investment um, to outspeed him, but I wanted to be bulky enough to take hits from the um, Alolan Mark if I have to, and my Sugarberry did come in kind of useful there, so that's nice. We're up 6-5 early, um, and Magmorto is actually kind of a threat to my team, um, especially the team I made, which is really, really off offensive. Unfortunately for me, uh, I did have Agility Sizzle, and Agility Sizzle would have done would have done things this game. It would have done things this game. Unbelievable. I would have just had to worn down that freaking uh, Alolan Muck and the Flygon a little bit and I would have been good to go. But unfortunately, I bottled out of it last minute and bulky swords that not bulky swords ants, I'm offensive swords ants, but with no speed. Which don't get me wrong, if I get rid of Starmie, um, can definitely still put in some work this game. Um, so, we're 6-5 up. Unfortunately, I've lost my Shooker Bay on the Heatran, so that kind of makes Pillar Swine kind of harder for me to deal with. Um, but I do feel like Heatran's my most expendable Mon. Um, I do feel like it's my most expendable Mon. So he must have had quite a bit of speed. Oh no, he outspeeds me naturally. That would be why. That would be why he outspeeds me naturally. Um, hopefully, I really, I'm a bit conscious that my uh, webcam is lagging out. I really hope it's not. I really, really hope it's not. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and ignore the spectators. Not because I don't want to talk to you guys, just because I want to be able to concentrate. Um, just because I want to be able to concentrate. Um, so I think the thing is, at the moment, right now, I'm probably just going to sack my Heatran. Um, I do really want to get rocks up there, that's the problem. But the thing is, what do I get rocks up against? I get rocks up against the Muck, um, and I, I, I do put a lot of pressure on his team against the Muck, so... That's good for me. He goes out into the Pinsir. He goes out into the Pinsir. So... I think I have to just stay in here. If he SDs, it's fine, because I've got Bridget. So I think I'm just going to try and get my rocks up. I mean, killing this thing is better than getting rocks up, so let's just go for the flamethrower. There's no way he doesn't switch out here, but... And maybe he predicts me to switch and goes for a cheeky SD or a or turn or something. Um, and we're going to see if he has Earthquake or the close combat here, uh, which is, is just good knowledge. So he's going to Mega Evolve. Um, he's just going to go for the Earthquake, taking me out. So that's juicy. Now, um, I wonder if... Quick attack from Mega Pinsir is going to take out my Manetric. Oh, you saw that. Quick attack to my Manetric. I mean, you outspeed me, don't you? So I don't really know why I'm even thinking like that. Um, I kind of just want to go Bridget and fire off a Hidden Power Rock. And then he's probably going to go out into his Muck. Um, and if he goes out into Muck, then mm, it's kind of troublesome for me, not going to lie. I mean, I can, can I take two returns with my Clefable? With my choice Scarfed Clefable, can I take two returns? Not the Clefable I wanted to do. Clefable, um, custom set maybe? No, uh, you're just nowhere to be seen, my Clefable, which is a bit unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a bit unfortunate. Okay, so let's just slap Moonblast. Ugh, okay, so that's really annoying that it didn't import. Let's go ahead and import my team once again. Um, I did import all the sets, so I don't really know why it's done that. Okay, let's go import. Um, and now let's go to you, and now let's go to Fable. Okay. Fable. Uh, Bridget. Okay, Hidden Power Rock is going to kill. Moonblast is going to do 50%, and Return is going to have an 18% chance to Oko me. But the question is, is he, is he going to stay in on a Clef? Um, I don't know if he is. I'm going to go into Bridget here. Um, and I'm just going to fire off a Hidden Power Rock. I'm going to fire off a Hidden Power Rock. Because he may think that I won't be able to take him out with a Hidden Power Rock. But I will be able to. Um, I feel like Return plus Quick Attack is going to kill me. Um, so if he does live the Hidden Power Rock, which he has a decent chance of doing. But it will put him in range of basically a Bullet Punch from my Sizzle or anything like that. Um, which is lovely. Although, Clefable really, really can come in clutch. But, uh, so, I don't really know if I wanted to stay in or not. I just hope I get the roll. <laughs> That would be great. I know it's not really in my favour, but if I could get that roll, that would be fabulous. I'm not going to lie, that would be absolutely fabulous. Like, absolutely fabulous. Hmm. So, I'm going to go for Hidden Power Rock here. I feel like he's just going to go into his muck. There's the muck. I'm going to go for Hidden Power Rock here. That is 13%, which is not too bad. I feel like that's going to be a Salt Vested muck. Uh, muck. A little muck. Salt Vest. Hidden Power Rock is 8 to 10. Interesting. So you could not be a Salt Vest. But you're not leftovers. Mine did 12. Okay, so you're probably not a salt vest. Good to know. Good to know. So I feel like a poison jab is definitely coming my way. 
Um, but he may want to predict and go into my sizzle. So I wonder if I can live a fire blast from a single. I feel like Bolt's not really doing too much now. So I'm going to go out into Bolt here and basically just sack it. Because I really don't think that Bolt is doing too much in this matchup. I really think that's a massive misplay turn one going for the switcheroo. He goes for the fire blast and I live that which is just fabulous. Um, if he has Shadow Sneak here he is going to go ahead and take me out. Um, but I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. If he goes out into the Pillar Swine that is fine. He does indeed go out into Pillar Swine. Um, and I'm tempted just to Flamethrower as I think he's going to get his rocks up. But I could also just go into Edward. I'm just going to Flamethrower here. I know it's not going to do a lot, but there we go. Massive 17%. He goes for his Stealth Rocks. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to carry on trying to get damage on this thing. He goes to the Ice Shard and takes me out. So now, I think what I would like to do is go out into my Edward. Um, and I think I'm going to Mega Evolve. I don't think he has a very good switch into this thing. Um, so I feel like he may go star me here. Um, I want to know how much... Because I know you get... Um, Pillar Swine gets... Gets the old... Um, gets the old... Superpower doesn't take you out and even just Bullet Punch. Um, so you may just want to stay in and Fire Fang me. I don't think it's going to do that much though. Um, and I don't know if you really have room on your moveset for the old Fire Fang. So it's going to do about half to me. So will Bug Bite... Bug Bite will do about 36 to 43. Bug Bite plus Superpower will take you out. So I'm just going to go for the Bug Bite because I'm not going to kill you anyway. He does switch out into the Muck. So that is unfortunate. But this is still going to do decent damage as it hits him neutrally. That's amazing. And I got his Figgy Berry. Holy smokes. Figgy Berry Muck. Oh my little baby Lanta. That is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So now we're going to go to Muck. Good old Macaroni, um, basically Assault Vest, let's just assume. Um, but, okay, well, so you're not Assault Vest, you're defensive, right? You're defensive. You're defensive? Bug Bite, yeah, 36 to 44 percent, and I got 43, so you're kind of mixed defensive, I think. Superpower is going to do less. Superpower is going to do less. We've seen the Fire Blast, we've seen it. We have seen it, indeed we have. We have seen the Fire Blast. How much is Fire Blast going to do? How much is Fire Blast going to do? Fire Blast. Fire Blast is 65 to 76%. How important is Sizzle? It's quite important, but I don't have Roost. That's the problem, is that I do not have Roost. If I SD here, and then Bug Bite, He's then forced out into his... He can go Sizzle, actually. Hmm. It's not looking great, Matt Meow. It's not looking great. I'll tell you that right now. It is not looking great. I could try set up a DD on this thing, potentially. But I feel like... Hmm, yeah, I could maybe... Hmm. Because I think hmm, Salamence has got a good chance of winning this game. I feel like that's my win con right now. Um, no, yeah, that's what I want. Um, that plus one. Uh, Starmie, offense, or, or it doesn't have to be offensive. Dragonclaw's gonna kill, but if you're not defensive, it's not gonna kill. Um, Pillar Swine actually really stops me as well. So, <clears throat> the question is, do I go for the roll or not? Because I've not, the thing is, I have no idea what this, what this muck set is. I could go Bridget and then Moonblast. That's what I could do. I could go Bridget and then Moonblast because you're Assault Vested. You don't have any Spadef. I, I mean, I don't know that really. I don't know that you're, you don't have any Spadef. Um, against my Clefable. Moonblast is 29 to 35%, so that's not really enough. I'm very tempted to go Ments, but then I don't know if I can take a Declaw from the Flygon after my Haban Berry, plus Rocks, plus whatever he's going to go for. I feel like Mence is my switch. Hmm. Thing is, I actually think he's going to make a prediction here. No, he's just going to Fire Blast. He's up. He's just going to Fire Blast. I'm going to go Mence. I think he's just going to Fire Blast. I'm going to kick myself if he goes for Knock Off or Poison Gab. There's the Fire Blast. Can we not get burned, please? That would be horrible. Okay, fantastic. So now, the thing is, right meow. 
is that I think I'm just going to fire off an Earthquake. Because I feel like he's going Pillow Swine 100%. So I'm just going to fire off an Earthquake here. There's the Pillow Swine. Takes out really quite well. Um, but I'm now just going to go out to Edward. Um, and I really need to save my Salamence's health now. Uh, and I'm kind of not looking great for this game right now. Not going to lie, I'm not looking game for this great, right now. great for this game right now. So I'm going to go back out into the Edward here. Um, but this time, he's seen that I want to go for bug, for bug Bite. He's seen that that's what I want to do. Um, I'm tempted just to SD. If I had agility, oh my lord. Okay, um, I feel like I just want to SD. Yeah, I'm going to SD here. Goes back out into the mark. I'm going to go for the SD. Um, and now I'm just going to fire off a Bug Bite. Yeah, I'm just going to fire off a Bug Bite. I'm going to fire off a Bug Bite and take out the mark. That is lovely. That Figgy Berry was fantastic. Out comes the Flygon. I feel like this might kill almost. I feel like this might kill almost. Edward. To a Flygon. Um, saying you're offensive, I guess. But you could be Scarfed, maybe. But at plus two, if you're offensive, Bullet Punch has a 75% chance to OKO. So maybe you're not offensive. In which case, Mensa has a pretty good chance of winning this game. I think it's worth going for Bullet Punch here. We take out the Flygon with the Bullet Punch. Oh, yes. And now he goes out into the Pincer. Okay. All right, then. Okay, that just turned this game around completely. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I took that risk. Okay. So now I'm going to go into Pincer here. Pincer, 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 Sword Zant. At plus two, Bullet Punch does a lot. Like, literally so much. So I'm just going to go for a Bullet Punch. I feel like Return plus Quick Attack is definitely going to take me out. But I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch here. And there's 84%. That's lovely. He's going to go for the Return. It's going to be 51%. I don't know if this Quick Attack is going to take us out. I'm just going to keep Bullet Punching. As he goes out into the Pillow Swine, I'm just going to Bullet Punch again. And Pincer is basically down. Okay, so he goes out into the Starmie. He goes out into the Starmie. So I feel like Bridget can kind of deal with both of these right now. But do I save the Edward? I don't think I do. Because um, Bridget can just Thunderbolt both of these, I think, for game. So I think I'm just going to Bullet Punch here. Yeah, I'm just going to Bullet Punch here, see how much I can do. I do 44%, which is amazing. He goes for the Scold, and it burns me, and that's going to take me out, which is unfortunate. But now... Okay. I think we may have this game. I think we may have this game. Not going to lie, I think we may have this game. So let's go to Starmie here. Pincer, uh, Sizzle putting in an absolute shift. Offensive. I feel like that's offensive damage. Uh, Bullet Punch is 52 to 61%. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. So I did 44%, so you actually HP invested. Let's say you're 252 in HP. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so now we're going to go to Clefable. And we're going to go to Bridget. Thunderbolt should take you out from this range. And I feel like that should be it. Because I outspeed you 100%. Although we didn't see an item. So can I take a Scold? I know you're not Life Orb. Can I take a Scold from what's the worst thing you can be? A uh, Splash Plate? A Splash Plate Starmie. Um, where is the Splash Plate? Splash Plate. Um, a Scold. Because if you're, you, you, the only way is if you're Scarf. The Scarf will do 42 to 59%. 49%. So say you do 49%. Now let's go to Pincer's Quick Attack. Pincer's Quick Attack. Okay, so I, I live this no matter what. I live this no matter what. I'm going to bridge it. Oh my god, guys. I think I messed up my speed EVs. Am I really going to choke another game? No, I'm not, because he's living! He's living! How is he living? I'm just going to go for another Thunderbolt here. And oh my god, Starmie's going to go down. We can live a quick attack from the Pinter. And I think that's going to be GG. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Joy Scarf the Fable pulling through. GG, man. G, G to Josh the Turtwig. Oh, I'm so happy that that team pulled through. Not gonna lie. 
if he was defensive Flygon, uh, that game would have been so, so different. But the reason I took the risk is because um, Sizzle didn't have that many more switch-ins. And if I were to switch out there, I just lost so much momentum. Um, I just lost so, so, so much momentum. I could have maybe gone out to Clayball, but I do feel like I made the right play there. Um, definitely the, 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 the most pivotal moment of the match, if you would say that. Oh my lord, what a game. What a game. He really had me on the back foot from the start. We are now 2-4. and four. Uh, We're like minus freaking 100 differential or something. And you just, just in case you guys didn't know, you shouldn't care about differential in leagues, okay? If you get the wins, it's going to matter so much more. I could be 3-3 three and three right now and going for playoffs. But now I'm fighting relegation with all my heart. So... That is going to be all for me today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like rating down below. If you feel like an absolute legend, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. But other than that, I'll smell you later.